Hey guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use window functions in SQL. So first, let's go over what windows functions are. So window function is a function that you can use to perform calculations against like a group of rows that are related to your current row. And we can use window functions for like aggregates, ranking and so on. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to go over some of the window functions that we use for ranking. So I'm going to go over these three in this example. So I'm going to go at row number, rank, dance rank. So here I'm just going to select from this table and let's go over our first one now. So row number. So let's just select. So let's just select our first name, last name, and then department, and then salary. I'm just going to select these four. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to use row number here. So here's the syntax for it. So I'm just going to say row number, parenthesis, and then this is the syntax for it. You're going to do over, and then in parenthesis, we, we're going to use order by. That's, that's required for this, because if we just execute it now, it's going to give us an error, saying that the order by is required for it for this window function. So we're just going to order by salary and I'm going to just run both of them together so you can see them side by side. So row number, like the name suggests, it's just going to give it like a row number. So starting from one, this is the row number and let's just give it a name. So I'm just going to call it RK or rank or something. So here you see it's one two three four five so we just ordered it by salary and it just gave it a row number based on that salary so here's the syntax for it it's row number over and then the order by and then the column so we are in this example we're just sorting it based on the salary so now you see it's just giving it a row number based on that salary so one two three four five but what we can do is if we can also partition it or group it by and that's the beauty of using window functions you can break it down into like smaller groups so what i'm going to do here is you see department here i'm going to break it down based on the department so what i can do right before the order by i'm going to say partition by department now let's run it so now you see it gave a row number for each department, broken down by each depart department ordered by the salary. So for these two, it gave us one two. So just a row number for each one of the rows in that department. And then when a new department starts, because we are breaking it down, we are partitioning it based on the department, the row number starts again for one. So one, two, three. And that's how you use row number. Now I'm gonna copy this. And now I'm gonna use rank function which is also a ranking function and here same thing i'm gonna partition by department order by salary again order by is required but partition by is optional but in this example i'm gonna use both so now let's run it side by side so this is our row number this is the result set from the row number you see it's breaking down by department and then just giving it a row number one two and then one two three but here when we use rank, what it does is when it finds duplicates, mm -hmm. it gives it gives it the same rank. So here we ordered by salary. So for HR, for these two, since it broke it down by the department first, for these two, the salary is the same. So it gave them the same rank. And then when the new department starts, it, it starts the ranking again. But you notice here when there's a tie, it gives it the same rank. And for the next one, it doesn't go to two. When there are duplicates, it skips that row. So once we have duplicates here, because there's a tie here, both are 80,000, it gave it the same rank. But for the next one, instead of going to two, it skipped that and it went to three. So the rank actually skips it if there's a duplicate. But let's say if we don't want to skip those uh, numbers, what we can use is we can use this other function called dense rank. So let me just copy and paste it here. Instead of rank, I'm just going to say dense underscore rank. Now let's run all three of them. So let me just expand this. So this is for our row number one, two, one, two, three, because we are breaking it down or partitioning it 
based on the department and then order by the salary so order by is where it's comparing the ranking so here row number it does not it does not rank them it just gives it a row number so one two and then it starts again here even though these are both the same it just assigns it a row number so one two three here this one is for the ranking here so it partitions by department and orders by salary since there is a tie here both are the same it gives it the same rank and here same thing here it gives it the same rank but it skips that number after there's a tie it skips it so instead of going to two so it would have been one two three instead of going to two here it just goes to one one and then three and then this is dense rank here so same thing here one one since there's a tie but here you notice after one since there's a tie here it did not go to three directly it went to two instead instead of going to three so it does not skip any number so even there's a if there's a tie even if it gives it the same rank after one is going to go to two and let's say there's a bunch of two here the next one would be three irrespective of like how many ties you have if you found this helpful please subscribe to my channel and let me know if you guys have any questions thank you for watching